up, y'all, and welcome back to Queen and Share. We're on the channel. Y'all know we talk about fashion, beauty, and life. And y'all, today, me and baby are here together. We are um, doing a video that a lot of y'all voted on. I did do um, a poll in the community tab asking if y'all wanted, like, a relationship um, slash advice type video from me and baby. And a lot of y'all said yes, so we're going to do the video. Before we get into the video, make sure that you do like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And never forget to tell a friend to tell a friend about Queen and Share because y'all know how we do on the channel. So, um, yeah. So, baby, you gonna say hi? Hi, y'all. <laughs> um, y'all can kind of tell baby is getting a little bit more comfortable on camera. And we're gonna start doing some videos together. So, yeah, just look out for that kind of content coming. Um, but in the video, we want to hit on, like, what I would consider um, the three major, like, topics in a relationship. And that's communication, uh, money, and trust. Now, is there anything else you think that's more important, like, than those three that we should cover in this video? Or, you know. No, that's most. The three, four thing that, that uh, is in a marriage. So I really can't think of that now because it's always communication. You got to have a communication. Right. You got to have, you got to talk about money because it's kind of hard, it's hard out here. Correct. And you got to have trust. That's right. A, that's number one thing. You got you to trust each other. Okay, so if we come up with other topics or y'all want us to discuss anything else, we will do it in another video. But this video, that's what we'll be hitting on. What you want to start with first, babe? It really don't make me no difference. I just jump in on either subject that you uh, come up with. Okay, so I guess we'll do communication because I'll just say communication got to start like at the very, very beginning before you even get to the money and the trust because if you just kind of dating you may not be um you know co-mingling funds yet y'all may have your own apartment or something like that but if you're in a dating stage um then the communication got to come first before you get to the other two mm -hmm. right so with communication um me and baby, we communicate very well. We did before we lived together. Um, and that started with just basically knowing what each other is doing, uh, knowing where each other is and stuff like that, and just being open about whatever is going on while we're not, you know, living together or whatever. Yeah, because you, if you're dating and you got to have communication, you got to know what this person likes and dislikes you know what I mean what make them happy what make them sad because you try to be that person whether it's he or her y'all you try to be that person to always keep that person happy smiling you right. know that's right. what build uh the foundation of a strong relationship because you don't have communication we all don't talk back and forth try to get to know each other's background where they come from you know it's gonna, it's not gonna last. It's not gonna work. I agree. You know what I'm saying? Cause to me, that's a key. That's one of, that's one of the keys to like to a good relationship is communication. You gotta be able to talk. Cause I don't agree. talk. Uh, the other one, if you're not talking and letting your partner know or your potential spouse or you know serious relationship you know situation if you're not talking oh yeah and me and baby are having a drink i just have some strawberry wine with strawberries in it baby is drinking i'm drinking, I'm drinking some vodka to call rain it's cheap but it's good it's okay. not it's, it's smooth so baby is having him some rain and i'm having just some oh and this is like strawberry moscato but um i would agree with babe because if you're not communicating and you're not, you know, openly 
or discussing things that you know are going on or things that y'all have planned separately and together then you really not gonna be able to get on one accord and if the foundation is not solid at the dating stage a marriage is not going to help that communication is going to be rocky from the beginning and not to say that it cannot get better but most times it does not get better when it's already starting out like on rocky grounds that's that's my opinion as far as like communicating and having you know a solid you know communication skills together or whatever so with communication me and baby um we know each other's schedule um it's, it's nothing is a surprise you know if it is then that's something that we discuss, you know, before last minute, if it can be, you know, whatever. But most of the time, if we're not at work, me and baby, we're together. That's just our preference. Um, I don't really have that many friends. I normally just kind of hang out with family. And I told y'all that on a lot of my videos. I don't really, I have associates, you know, people that I, you know, converse with on the phone here and there, but not as much as I'm with like my family. Um, and baby, he has his friends, like childhood friends or whatever. And I mean, we pretty much are always together. That That's yeah. just really it. We don't really do anything where the other one is not invited, you know? So I think this, but that's us though. Some people like their alone time. Some people like, you know, I'm hanging with the guys for however long. And if that's what you like and that's what y'all do, that's fine. But the communication does have to be solid so that y'all are in agreement with whatever each other is doing separately or whatever. Well, to touch on a little what you're saying, that's cool. You know what I mean? To uh, do things with your uh, spouse or your mates. It's cool to hang out with the fellas or it's cool to hang out with the ladies sometimes. But majority of the time, spend time with the spouse of your mate because that's where you no know, fish can come involved. I you know agree. I mean? yeah, that's that's basically what it is. You know what I'm saying? Just hanging out. Like, it's just look and go shopping with your old lady or shopping with your guy or, you know what I mean? Uh, going to the, you know what I'm saying? Like, like me, I go to the nail shop with her. When she'll get her nails done, the toes done. <laughs> If I'm free, not, available. Not every time. Not every time. Yeah, if I'm not free time, and available. But he will go. I'll go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sit in the chair, relax. You know what I mean? I ain't haven't got my feet done yet because <laughs> I don't know. But I'm on it. She get she got me leaning toward that way to get my feet done a little bit. But <sighs> you know, I think that's a good thing. You know, that's, that's help. Also, that help a relationship. I agree. And if y'all haven't noticed, me and baby are clingy. Um, we love to be with each other i mean i i personally like i said it's nothing wrong if you got outside friends or whatever but like baby said that keeps the friction down because what if you know one of his friends or one of my friends is single they are you know doing single people stuff and i'm married so some things you're gonna be doing or whatever I'm not going to be doing because of my, you know, uh, situation. I'm not going to even put myself in a predicament or in a situation to uh, have my spouse think that it's something else going on when there's nothing going on. So that's another thing when you hanging out with your friends or whatever like that. You just got to be careful. And, I mean, if you got a good friend, then, of course, they're not going to put you in a situation mm -hmm. Where you have to question, you know, if you know if my spouse saw me doing this, how would they feel or whatever? But then you got some people that's single and they gonna do single stuff, and, and, you know. And you gotta be kind of strong enough or mentally wise enough to make the right decisions based off of your situation in your marriage or your relationship or whatever you have going on. That's well, why you have to be questioned or do no questioning. Right, I agree with some of my eye, y'all. But I agree. So I think that pretty much covers what communication. communication. 
I think that's good. If y'all have any questions about communication, like anything that we didn't touch on, or maybe a scenario that y'all want our advice on, um, if we dealt with it before, then of course we'll be able to give y'all great, you know, um, advice. And even if we have not, you know, we still can put our heads together or whatever and come up with some good advice um, to give y'all on whatever the situation is. So I guess what we'll move into what was the communication, money, and, and, and trust. trust. So let's. So I think trust, cause money, or what you think? I'm cool with trust, cause trust got, cause trust goes in with the communication. I agree. Okay. Before you even get Before to commingling the funds yeah. and paying bills, that's what I agree. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you want to start on trust, <clears throat> or you want me to start? Well, me, I, I say. We didn't want to. You gotta have trust. You gotta. We didn't want to. Gotta have trust. You know what I mean? Cause uh, trust goes a long way. Then to have trust, let's come with the communication. You gotta communicate to, get, to have trust set on solid, solid foundation. I agree. You know what I mean? Cause if you don't have trust, and and come with trust, you gotta believe in God. You know what I mean? You gotta have God in part, a part of that trust. Because that way, can't nothing slither in. Nobody slither in to try to, you know, what I'm saying wreck your home. I agree. Because you got a lot of like a lot of people don't want like to see other couples happy. So you got people. You got people trying to throw this little bit, this little bit, your area, this little bit, this area. You know what I mean? And they call division with your spouse or your mate. I agree. So you got to. Keep the division out of it. I agree. And me and baby, both of us, we are not like of any specific religion, but we do believe in God and we believe in the universe. And I agree with babe. You got to have like um, God in your mix, uh, no matter whatever your religion yes. is, or if you kind of like me and baby, you know, not of any specific religion, but you still believe in God and things like that. I think that you definitely have to have that in the mix because without that, you know, you, you, I, I, I'm trying, let me see how I can put it. I would say if you don't believe in like a high power, when things get hard, like what, where do you turn? Because me and babe, we pray separately and we pray together. So, you know, I, I think you do have to believe in some kind of higher power or at least be mentally stable enough to understand when you need to move a certain way or you need to do something different. I would just say it like that. And trust, like, when he leaves without me, um, which is rare, but whenever he does, I don't have no, like, feeling of nothing going, like, crazy because I know him. And we communicate all the time, uh, and, and like with uh, trust, babe can answer my phone, I can answer his phone, we have each other's password, um, it's nothing, it's like a secret, we tell each other everything, um, and I'll give y'all an example, a personal example, um, I had an ex to reach out to me, and I answered the phone, but I told baby about it the same day, um, when I talked to him, I told him what was, you know, the conversation was about. I have no issue with him, you know, answering my phone, seeing a text message. We don't have that kind of issue. Um, so that goes with trust. You know, you, you got to trust your person. So if anybody was to reach out to baby, I feel like he would do the same thing. Told me about it and whatever the, um, conversation was about or whatever you know and um the person that reached out to me was like well you don't have to tell your husband everything and i had to correct that because i do tell my husband everything i don't have no secrets because that's when you start the mm -hmm. underhanded stuff then you got the lies coming then you got the deceit and well lies and deceit is kind of the same thing but y'all get where i'm going with it that's how that kind of stuff come in the mix because one, had I not told him about it, uh, and he paid the phone bills. So suppose he asked for a record of the phone log and I didn't tell him about 
the conversation. Then you got a situation where now this could have happened whenever it happened, and I didn't say nothing, so now I'm being sneaky because there ain't no other way to put it if I didn't say nothing about it. And, you know, he saw it on the phone records or whatever. So I told him about it just because that's who I am. Before we even lived together, I told him a lot of things that went on because we were dating, you know. So you just got to have the trust and you got to. Yeah. I think you will be good if both people are solid. Let's just put it like that. Because if both people are solid, all the things going to kind of just flow. It ain't going to really be no friction for the most part. Now, that's not to say you're not going to have ups and downs. But as far as communication and, and, and trust, if both people are solid and both people really wanted to work, I think that everything would kind of tie in and just flow. I agree. I agree. I agree. So, um, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. What else is a trust like type situation like? Trust is it gotta be like also is like saying if I I'm working and I had to go out of town. Okay. You know what I'm saying? For a couple of days, so two or three days, whatever. Your spouse not just telling me, but you know what I'm saying, it could be either or he or her. You know what I mean? Uh, it had to be, you got to go out of town for two or three days, whatever. And your spouse and mate got to be have enough trust in you to know that, know that you're going to be doing Solid. just what we're doing. Right. You know what I mean? You're not going to be out running out trying to find this and that, this and that. You know what I mean? So your mate, your mate or your spouse got to know, yeah, it's... I trust him or her. And that also, trust and communication kind of go hand in hand, I would say, because you got to communicate. Yeah. Um, Just like, I'll give an example, like how I go to the office once a week. When I go to the office once a week, because I get off at like 645, when I get home in the wintertime, in the fall, it's dark. So when I leave the office, I, you know, either text babe, or call him, or either he's calling me, you know, like, how far are you, or whatever like that. This is every single time I go to the office, um, you know. And like I said, when I leave in the morning, I'm coming home at nighttime. He got enough trust in me to know that I'm actually going to work. Um, we communicate on our breaks, even if we cannot talk um, on our breaks or whatever. Because sometimes our breaks kind of line up. Baby's breaks are more more structured than mine um, just because of the different types of, you know, uh, jobs we do. Mm -hmm. But if our breaks line up, then we always talk or whatever. But if not, we at least still send each other a text. Like, you know, how is your day? Oh, that's another thing. Like, oh, we should do, we'll do a separate video on, like, love and stuff like that. Um... <laughs> But, yeah, he does ask that. I ask him, how is he feeling today? You know, all of that kind of stuff. How's your day going on? Right. So forth. Right. So, uh, we, we communicate on a, uh, I would say on a great uh, level. Okay, so, <laughs> baby was getting a phone call. But, anyway, we're going to go ahead and hit on the money. Uh, because money, I'm sure, is like one of the uh, largest reasons why people get divorced or why they do not work um, in a marriage or relationship. You know, like I said, money goes also goes in with trust and Absolutely. communication. Absolutely. Because you got to be strong enough to trust. You can't have, okay, say me, her, me and her married, oh, and then uh, she got her own bank account. I got my own bank account. Then there's another bank account that she don't know about, or she have another bank account I don't know about. So if we got bank accounts that each other don't know about, they're throwing the trust out the window. I because agree. I don't know what your intention is to have another bank account that I don't know about. If you know about mine, I know about yours. Then we got a joint bank account. Then we got a bank account of vacation, for vacation funds. So we know about each other uh, bank accounts. Right. And then come with the 
financial wise, you gotta be, you know what I'm saying? You gotta mm -hmm. make, make sure it, both parties are smart with their with their decisions when it comes with the financial. Correct. Because I pay the phone bill and some more bills, and she pays such and such bills. Really, we 50 50. <laughs> But it's not like, okay, so let's, we'll just explain without actually going into our uh, finances in, in, on a, you know, risky level. But we are 50-50. Um, but it's not like, um, okay, the mortgage. We don't do like, okay, well, give me your half on the mortgage and I'll give you my half on the phone bill. I'll give you my half. We don't do that. We just split whatever our bills is so they equal out to each one of us paying uh, around about so, the same amount, give or take a couple of dollars or what have you. But like I explained, baby pay the phone bills, um, and he pays like uh, all of the house stuff, you know, utilities, gas, lights, this, this, da, da, da. But when you cut it all down the middle, like I said, give or take a couple of dollars here and there, we really go 50-50. Um, and that works for us, you know, so... I, I agree with that. And like I said before, we even lived together. We had a conversation about how we plan to run our household when we, you know, start living together or whatever like that. So it was not uh, like a, it wasn't an issue um, like when we bought the house or whatever. It was not an issue. Hold on, y'all. Okay, so I was getting a phone call. But anyway, so we, we are like 50-50. Like when we go grocery shopping, uh, sometimes we'll do, okay, you're going to uh, pay at Walmart and I'll pay at Aldi. Or sometimes we split it at both places. It just really depends on what our flow is. But it's still 50-50. We still support each other on whatever if baby want them um and, and and i would say compromise um that could be in another video but i'll give y'all a small um situation like with compromise as far as dealing with money baby wanted a big tv when we got the house we already had a tv for the living room or whatever but coming from the apartment the tv was smaller baby wanted a bigger tv watch football <laughs> But it was no problem. I don't care about TVs, really. I don't care. I'm not really like an electronic kind of person. I don't really care about stuff like that. But if he wanted a bigger TV, I compromised. And I went in half with him for the big TV in the living room. That's okay. Um, when there's things that I want, you know, random stuff, baby will say, okay, well, I'll pay for it. Or I'll, you know, give you half on whatever. So it's, it's compromised. But it was dealing with money. But we'll do another video of like compromising on other situations and things like that. But that was a money situation, so that makes sense. But as far as money, when baby gets paid, we have a planner. Um, but we write all the bills. Well, I write all the bills because that's really my thing. Um, but we communicate. Baby may send me a text because uh, last week he paid some things while he was at work. And I was still at work. He sent me a text like I pay X, Y, Z, so make sure you write it in the book, whatever. So it's communication. I trust that he's going to pay his bills, and that's dealing with money. He's doing his part. Same thing with me. Whenever I pay whatever I pay, I'm like, babe, X, Y, Z is paid. It's in the book, you know, and it's that mm -hmm. on that. And then we look at the book often to make sure that, you know, nothing is paid late, you know, um, we just do, we do that, you know, and baby gets paid a couple of days before me, but he still knocks out whatever he needs. And, um, like he said something about our bank accounts and stuff like that. We know about each other's accounts and whatever. Uh, we have our own separate accounts and then we have like a credit card together. And like he said, we use it for like vacations or if we want to just go shopping or whatever it is we decide that's something that we decide together. It's never a situation where baby has went out and uh bought uh what what's some expensive? A motorcycle. A motorcycle. And I don't know nothing about it. I don't know that it's on what card. I don't know what account is coming out. We don't do that because we're in agreement 
on whatever. And like for 24, a baby does on a motorcycle. Again, I don't really care about a motorcycle, but that's what he wants. So I'm willing to compromise and go in half with him or whatever he decide. You know, um, I don't know what I want. There's something big that's or right. whatever. I don't want a trike, but right. I don't want it as bad as you on a motorcycle. You're right. So I don't really know what I would want big, um, but either way it go, that's something that we compromise on and we, you know, split the bill. Or even if we don't split it, it's still if it's coming out of his money, it's gonna affect our household. So whether I split whatever with him or he just buys it on him uh, on his own. It's still coming out of our household, so it's still a conversation that needs to be had. And it's something that we have to agree to, you know, or whatever. So, it's just like with our, um, everything, uh, that we get, we really split or do whatever. Like do something nice for each other. Yeah. Or whatever it is, whether it's my money, his money, or our money jointly. Whichever way we do things for each other. We make sure the, the household is taken care of. Um, oh, we'll talk about like dates. We need to write that down. Yeah. Compromising dates and then another topic. Well, so let we, us know if y'all want yeah, to talk us about know. dates. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what did you say? Compromising. Compromising. Because I got a few know. things about dates now. If y'all want to know, <laughs> know a little something about dating. You know what I mean? What's, a, what's make a good date? What make a bad date? You know I mean, we, we y'all like to hear that? Oh, we could do one like about disagreeing. Yeah. Cause you definitely we so if y'all like this video, oh, that's all I had to say about money. Oh, what yeah, yeah, you so agree? I okay. agree. Okay, so we're um we're at the end of the video. Um, let us know, like Baby said, if y'all like this type of content. If y'all like, you know, um, relationship advice. If y'all like what we're talking about, if y'all agree, disagree, you know, whatever y'all may do when it comes to communication, trust, and money, let us know in the comments how y'all feel, and we'll bring y'all another video, because I think compromising, um, disagree, excuse disagree. me, compromising, disagreeing, like and dating, dating. Nights. Date I nights. think that'll be a good... I said date nights. I'm just saying, okay. date nights or whatever right. we do, you know, whatever. So, I, I think that'll be another good video. But y'all let us know how y'all like the video. Um, You got anything else, babe? All I can say, I hope y'all like the video. Like, share, you know what I'm saying? Come in, let us know if y'all want to see me more on the video. <laughs> I will appear. You know yeah, I mean? baby's getting a little bit comfortable on camera, which I absolutely love. I love um doing YouTube. And, of course, y'all know y'all did not see Baby for a long time. But he wasn't comfortable with being on camera. So, I didn't want to invade his personal, you know, um, well, space feeling, or whatever with, you know, just putting him on there. I feel more better now in front of the camera than I ever have before because I really didn't like cameras. Just like I really didn't like pictures. Taking <laughs> pictures, but I'm getting more and more uh, comfortable. comfortable with it. And I will appear in more and more videos, okay. whether clothing wise or you know what I mean or yeah. And baby loves clothes and shoes yeah. and stuff just like I do. Um, but he, like I said, he's he's getting more comfortable. I know y'all been seeing our shorts. Um, thank y'all for uh, supporting our channel for real. Um, in our shorts videos where we do our little couples outfits or whatever, I see a lot of y'all like that. So, that's why I've been trying to talk him into getting on the camera. But, again, you have to let somebody get comfortable and, you know, get their own groove, you know, to things like that. Because everybody is not open to that. And I just didn't want to, you know, disrespect his personal space or whatever, how he felt, you know. But, y'all, that is the end of this video. Um, okay. Make sure that you do like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also, never forget to tell a friend to tell a friend about Queen Michelle, honey, and y'all already know. Hold up. Uh, what bottle, huh? Before we go, before we go, <laughs> if y'all, anybody out there drink vodka or your, you know what I'm saying, mate, spouse drink vodka, try this. It's, it's cheap. 
Come but on. Yeah. It's cheap, but it's good. Try it. So, like I said, please like, comment, and share. That's what I hope y'all do. And subscribe, baby. And subscribe. We <laughs> got to have subscribers. So, please subscribe. You know, if y'all would like to see me more and talk more, please let, let us know. No. Okay. I'm I'm here. So we ready to end it? Ready to end it. Okay, so y'all heard it, baby, and y'all yeah. already know we are out.